We are speeding through Bangkok's traffic at 9 p.m. in an ambulance of the Paul Deklings Foundation, a rescue organization based in the Thai capital. A tip-off from a nearby mall earlier indicated a hit-and-run accident which involves a car and a motorbike. Apart from this ambulance, three others are also rushing to the scene along with some rescue volunteers. Nobody knows for sure what has happened. Emergency rescue is an important part of Bodek Things Foundation's works and many people in Bangkok really depends on their quick response to any emergency situations. Luckily, the accident is not so serious this time. A car has hit a motorbike before leaving its owner with minor injuries. Quickly, the team dresses the young woman's wounds. And now, we are moving to the parking lot of a nearby hospital, the assembly point of several rescue teams in this part of Bangkok. Quickly, half an hour has passed and we are back on the ambulance once again. Another road accident between a car and a motorbike but this time the case is more serious. The car has hit a motorbike, leaving its rider with slight concussion and some flesh wounds. Quickly, the rescue volunteers give the injured a first aid treatment before transferring him to the ambulance. This case requires professional care at the hospital, and this experienced paramedic is doing all he can to help. In no time, we reached a hospital. There is another Bodek Things rescue team here too. They have just dropped off a victim of domestic violence. After each operation, these volunteers return to their assembly point where they constantly listen to police scanner and taxi radios for any reports on accident or violent crimes. And this is what they do every night. Panu Wong Shuum, Channel News Asia, Bangkok.